Hmm. Coffee, the elixir of life. There she is. You guys ever have one of those moments where you're just like, I can't believe this is reality? Ah, oh, I can't believe I actually did it. <clears throat> What's going on guys, I'm Renegade, and this is my newly purchased 2006 R6 that I bought for only $1,500. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm a little worried, but I'm hopeful. So I wanna make a video about this to show you guys what I'm looking at. What does the bike have? What does it need? What's wrong with it? Obviously, you guys know that I'll be working on this bike and customizing it and making my own quite a bit. So if you guys are interested in seeing where this bike build goes, I'll have a link down to a playlist down in the description to all the videos that I'm doing on this bike. Because obviously I can't just leave it stock. I mean, where's the fun in that, right? So as I mentioned in the last video, I bought this bike for $1,500. The guy who I bought it from said that, well, it had a spark plug uh, port in the cylinder head that was jacked up and it needed to be replaced or it needed to be re-threaded, I should say. Well, it's true, it was. So I bought a tap that was the right thread and I bought time inserts, which are basically just threaded sleeves. They're threaded on the outside and threaded on the inside and you tap the hole to the size of the thread on the outside, screw in the time cert, and now it's the same thread size as your spark plug. And it's not gonna go anywhere. It's a little better than a standard helicoil that doesn't look like much. So, I already did that. Just cause what was here, so I wanna do it. Um, and I wanna see how soon I can get this bike actually running. Now, obviously, there's a couple other things that I know need to be addressed. Uh, and I'd show you, but it's kind of hard because everything's under the tank and under the airbox, and it's very cramped. hard to get a camera in there, you know. But on top of the motor are the ports for the air injection system, or the AIS. Well, one of them isn't sitting right, so it's not running right because it's just basically a giant vacuum leak at this point. So I got to address that. Um, but obviously there's gonna be a modification done on that coming soon. Um, Cause I mean, why not, right? Also, well, you know what, I'll, I'll show you. Let's do a walk around. Not half bad condition if I do say so. Let's go over some of the important things. That, that is an M4 muffler. This is the first thing I saw when I was looking at it. Like, oh, it has an M4 muffler. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the M4 mufflers, so it'll probably change at some point. But for right now, all right, cool, performance muffler. But it goes farther. If you look in here, I hope the camera shows it, shows it well. There's no cat here. The catalytic converter has already been deleted. That's loose. I have to put that back in place. I'll do it later. <clears throat> also means that the servo has been disconnected. Now the servo is right here. And I don't have a servo buddy and I don't know if I'm gonna need one or not, but the cables themselves have been taken off of the servo. So not only is it not here, the actual valve, but the cables don't run up here. Awesome. One of the nice things I also saw was these these are steel braided brake lines so the rear one obviously the front's got it too on both sides now that makes me very happy because i would have done this anyway so awesome integrated led turn signal brake light unit awesome now you can tell this has a used fairing because it's got this writing on the bottom hmm it's all right i said i got basically two sets of fairings one is the Yamaha Racing Blue. 
The other one is the Raven Edition. Sweet. I like the Raven Edition, it's real nice. Of course, I like black. You can see some scratches on here, little things that need to be touched up. No big problem. Frame sliders, this one, I don't know. The bike was dropped in a driveway, like while rolling down the road. So it dropped at like five miles an hour. It was enough to damage the headlight unit. So I've got new headlight units and new plastic for this. And to grind this. Now there's no other signs of anything on here. You can see the clutch cover is perfectly fine. There's no damage on it. That's a good sign. No damage on the frame. That's a good sign. But this got a little chipped and the previous owner basically took a sander to it to flatten it. Yeah, I don't know, man. This fairing is actually wrapped. You can see it pulling up there right there and that's the racing blue one i've got another fairing or another fender in the back look no reflector yay love that front end but you can tell like this is glossy black and this is charcoal gray hmm yep that'll need to be addressed got the nice yamaha light somebody tinted the windscreen with paint so it doesn't really work that well can't really see much through it you can actually see more on the camera than I can see in real life and let's face it just looks kind of cruddy now a sticker here so I'll have to remove that <clears throat> Over here you can see we have MZS Adjustable shorty levers. Awesome. Again, I would have done that. Seats obviously need to be replaced. There's, ugh. but again, I'll do that. Not half bad though. Not half bad considering the price tag, huh? Yeah. So now it becomes the fun part. One, I gotta get it running correctly. I got things for that. I got a couple little performance mods that I'm gonna to do to make it run better and run, essentially. Because although this has the M4 exhaust and is a full exhaust, a, or at least it's a mid-pipe and uh, cat, mid-pipe cat delete and muffler, it's got the original brain on it. And I don't see any stickers saying it was flashed. Normally when somebody flashes a brain, or a computer, ECU, whatever you want to call it, they put a sticker on it. You know, if you get it from Boss Racing or from Brock's, there's a big sticker on the case. So basically, you know, well, there's no sticker on here. So, I'll have to do something about that. The, ten the tank did get a little ding. That's why you see this black right here. Somebody obviously tried repairing it, didn't do a great job with the sanding. Did a little paint work. It's not wonderful. It's all right, I'll address that too, no problem. Now obviously things I'll have to do, I will do a full service on it. I will drain and refill, re-bleed the brake system because I don't know how long this brake fluid's been here and it frankly looks a little funky. So we're gonna do that because I'd rather be safe than sorry. Do do an oil change, do a tune up, all new spark plugs. Again, these are all things that we do or at least that I do, when we get a new mo a new vehicle, whether it be a motorcycle or a car, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a full service. I wanna make sure everything is good. Now in a car, I might not do the brakes, depending on the brake fluid, but the brake fluid reservoir is always inside the uh, engine compartment, so it doesn't really get destroyed by UV, unlike a motorcycle. You can tell because of the color, the brake fluid's supposed to be clear. If it's not clear, it's probably kind of, yeah, remember that. So we'll see how everything runs after that. New air filter, the whole nine yards. But I'm going to get more into that in another video. Now, those of you who know these bikes very well might notice a little something different. 
Um, I did say that I had the Racing Blue and I had the Ravens Edition. Well, these aren't the Raven Edition normal colors, are they? I've already started painting because I'm a fiddler and I need to do things to keep my energy at bay or something. Nervous energy and, you know, idle hands and all that, right? So I already started painting a little bit. So I might as well tell you now that the paint scheme for this bike is going to be satin black. I've never done satin before. I've done gloss black on all the vehicles. First iteration of my Yamaha XS400, my Yamaha XJ600, the Suzuki Intruder that I did earlier this year. So now it's time to change it up. I'm gonna go satin with this. This is actually a satin matte finish. This is actually already painted, you can tell. And it looks sleek as hell. I can't wait to get this whole bike painted. So we're gonna go satin black. Obviously, certain things I'll keep, certain things I won't. But you guys will get the idea soon enough. But I got some cool ideas for this bike, but I'm curious to see what are your ideas? What do you think I should do? If you guys have any suggestions of things that I should do, because I'm, I'm new to this bike. I mean, this is a fuel injected motorcycle. I've only had carbureted motorcycles. This is a whole new world for me, which I'm excited about because I'm psycho. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments, please. And remember, if you're not already subscribed, please do remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video because I said, I think this is gonna be some pretty cool things I got in mind already. I can't tell you everything or else that'll give it away. But let me fiddle around with some stuff and we'll come back in a little and see what's going on with it, huh? Quick note, this guy right here is the one last piece you need to take off to get this whole headlight assembly off, or at least the, the fairings around the headlights. Call them the eye sockets. The last bolt, it's hidden back there. You gotta take everything off to get to it, but make sure you do because otherwise you'll break this thing and then it all won't be as secure. All right, so it's the next day. It started raining on me, so it's a little, yeah, hindering my plans a little. So I've got the whole front end off the bike. Now everything is off currently because I got another project that'll be next video, I believe, that ought to be pretty cool. Um, yeah, already started getting in to the whole uh, customizing process. Just a couple of things. One of the main things that I have got a problem with right now with this bike there will be a problem come riding. So these grips are super loose. That, that took no effort at all. So, okay, drill back on the throttle. Sure, it does hold, but you can also see it's moving more than the throttle roller is. That's not good. So we're gonna replace these, put some bar ends on, and uh, be that much closer to getting somewhere. These should not be that easy to take off. Now, for those of you who have been subscribed to my channel, you might recognize these grips as being the same style that I've got on my XJ and I put on my Maxim. The only reason I didn't put them on my Intruder when I did the build on that is because I couldn't get these in a one inch handlebar. It's all right, these are easy to put on. The thicker one, thicker inner diameter, goes on the throttle. The other one goes on the other side. You might need to separate them a little. There's a three piece, so there's an aluminum piece and then the rubber. And I've had luck getting them on like this before, but 
I've also needed to separate them before. Now you can see, much, much better. And if they're any type of good quality, you don't need to put glue on the grips. They should just hold fast. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these bar ends on. They're just little, a little bit of an accent. Let's see how the bike rides and see if I wanna put a weighted bar end on. I'm not entirely sure yet, because I haven't ridden this bike yet. So, at least for now, these would be nice because it, it needs something there. They're pretty simple, they got this rubber piece right here. What you do is you tighten down the nut, which is right here, using the hex key bolt here, until it's snug when you put it in. And then you're just gonna tighten it down more using the hex key head, and it should stay. And just decide where you wanna put your R6 logo. Also, keep in mind that, <clears throat> keep in mind that there are two and because they both say R6 on them. Like obviously one is one side, one is the other. Pay attention or else you'll kind of look silly. Yeah, let's get them on. Just like that. Done. And these do feel really nice. I do love these grips, they're so nice. The R6 accent right here looks really nice. So like I said, this is just the start. A little bit of thinking ahead, a little bit of planning. I'm gonna get rock and rolling on this hard and quick. So definitely going satin black. I love the look of these fairings. Look even better when I get everything together. But since I'm doing something on the headlights, I don't wanna put everything back together to have to take it all apart again. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you got any suggestions or things that you think would be a cool idea to see on this bike, let me know. And uh, if you want to help fund this project, this build project, remember that there, you can always go to the link above my head, coffee.com slash the renegade, and you can donate a little bit if you want to help. And uh, you'll get a little thank you come the end of the video. A couple bucks, basically buying me a coffee. That's going to do it for today, guys. Y'all have a good one. Keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to keep taking care of business. I'll see you in the next one.